to you. Our day's beginning, there's so much to do. Good morning, good morning, good morning to you. Our day's beginning, there's so much to do. Hey my friends, I missed you so much. Now, it's spring now, which is really exciting because we were not in school for when we had our first day of spring, and that's okay. I wanna talk a little bit about spring with you today. Also, I brought a surprise. It's a pretty awesome surprise. I do this every spring, but since you're not in my classroom, I have to do it here at home, and I get to share it with you, which is really exciting. So now that it's springtime, I want you to think about what happens around you outside in the springtime. Do you remember? We have our sign language to help us. We have, what's what we have? Summer, do it with me. Summer, like you're wiping the sweat off your face. Hey, summer, that's my sign language, right? What comes after summer? Make your tree and make the leaves fall down, right? Make your tree, make the leaves fall down. So after summer comes fall. What's after fall? Do you remember? Now we didn't get a lot of snow this year, did we? Say it again. What season is it? Did you say winter? Can you show me the, the sign language for, for winter? Do you remember what it is? Oh, you're really cold, right? Can you show me again? Winter, it's gonna be really cold in winter. So what comes after winter? What's the last season that we haven't looked over yet? Do you remember? <sighs> did you do the symbol? Did you, do, did you use your sign language? Did you make the flower blooming? Can you do it with me? Can you make the flower bloom? I mean spring and sign language, let's do it again. This is our dirt and here comes our flower and it's blooming. Good job, my friend. Spring. It's spring. And in the spring, what comes out of the ground? Have you seen any around in your neighborhood? Have you seen any flowers at the park? They're going to be blooming everywhere. All the trees are going to start budding and the tree buds are going to turn into big, big leaves. They'll start very small leaves and they'll get bigger and bigger and bigger. And soon all the leaves will be back on the trees because in winter, what happened? There was zero. Zero what? There was zero leaves. They were all gone. They were all gone. It was finished. It was done. It was done. There was no more leaves. Hmm. So now that our leaves are coming back and our flowers are starting to grow, what else happens in springtime? There's a word. There's a couple words I haven't used in class yet. We used it maybe once or twice, but we didn't really dive deep into it. So we're gonna dive deeper. It's called life cycles. I think the life cycle we went over first was all the way back in October for, for pumpkins. Do you remember how the pumpkin started as a seed? Then it turned into a sprout? And then it turns into a plant, and then it grew a, a yellow flower, and then the flower fell, flower fell off. And then the flower grew into a small green pumpkin, and then the green pumpkin turned into an orange pumpkin when it was ready to be cut from the vine. Because they had, they had lots of vines. Remember when we went to the pumpkin patch? Lots of vines. Well, the life cycles happen with living animals and living plants. This is my cup of caterpillars. Yeah, I said caterpillars. We have 20. You wanna take a look at them? You see that brown stuff at the bottom of the cups? That's their food. It's a sugar mixture. They love sugar. And as they start to grow, and they're gonna grow very, very quickly. They're going to get bigger and bigger and bigger. Now, when we received our caterpillars, which was today, this is day one, and they're so teeny, teeny, tiny. Well, as they 
to get bigger each day in about a week. They're going to be the biggest. All of the food at the bottom of the cup will be all gone. You'll see, you'll see their bowel movements too in there because it's the same color. And it kind of looks a little gross, but that's, 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 that's what they need to live. So they're going to eat the brown mixture at the bottom. And when they're ready, they're going to crawl to the top. So we didn't get them as eggs, but they start out as eggs. And out of the egg comes a little hungry caterpillar. And the hungry caterpillar eats and it eats and it eats and it eats as much as it can until all, until all the food is gone. And as they get bigger and bigger and bigger, we're going to find out what happens to them. Because at some point, they're going to go from this cup to my canopy, my butterfly canopy. Do you see my butterfly canopy? My butterfly canopy has a spring in it. <gasps> That's another word. That doesn't mean spring the season. It has a wire in it <gasps> to help <gasps> springs up. Oh, it springs up at you. Did you see that? Let's do it again. Let's do it again. It just kind of oh, it springs up at you. That's the same word, but it has two meanings. The first meaning is spring, like the season. And then you have spring, like a coil that pushes and pulls and springs outward. Well, that's interesting. So we have a canopy that has a spring inside there. And inside this canopy, we'll get the butterflies. They'll come out soon. But we gotta figure out how they're gonna get there first. Are you ready to figure out how they're gonna get inside this canopy with me? Well, we have a lot of waiting to do, don't we? Would you like to look at the caterpillars for a little while? Why don't you look at the caterpillars and tell me what you, you see them doing? Do you see them in there? Are they really teeny tiny? Or are they big? What are they doing in there? Are they sleeping? What does it look like when a caterpillar sleeps? If a caterpillar is sleeping, is it moving? Or is it very still? Absolutely still. Which one? If you guess still, you're right. If the caterpillar is super still in the cup, they're sleeping. And if you see one of them wiggling around, maybe it's trying to eat. Maybe it's trying to stretch its body out. Maybe it's ready to grow. Because it's going to shed its exoskeleton. It's going to shed its black outer layer a few times as it grows. Until it's too big. And then we'll find out what happens. Which is going to be very exciting. You can't see it just yet. But inside the cup, there's silk. It's very tiny right now because the, the caterpillars are very tiny. But inside that cup, that silk will get larger and bigger and more. They'll keep creating lots of silk. And they use the silk to keep it safe. The caterpillar doesn't want to get eaten by a predator. What's a predator? A predator is an animal that would eat a caterpillar for energy to stay alive. Well, some predators would be a, a bird to a caterpillar. Birds like worms, I bet you birds would also like caterpillars. Well, they use their silk to hide themselves. They use the silk inside to wrap themselves up and make themselves a, a little home or like a little bed. And it keeps the birds and the other predators away. I can't wait to see them get bigger. They're gonna be huge. Are you excited with me? Oh, I can't wait. There's so much we can learn about a life cycle. How a living thing begins its life and grows throughout its life and how it starts its cycle all over again. How can a butterfly keep its life going? Well, they create more eggs so that when that butterfly dies, their babies live on. Butterflies don't live very long. They only live a few short weeks. We've been out of school for about four weeks now. 
that's about as long as it takes for a caterpillar to grow into a butterfly. And then butterflies only alive for just a few more weeks after that. So you can kind of understand that it's a really short time. And I would love for you to be in my classroom right now, actually looking at all of these cups and counting all these caterpillars, but we can't. Not until the virus goes away, right? And it's better to be safe. So I'm hoping that you can still learn a lot through my videos. I really appreciate you tuning in today to, to, to watch my day one of my caterpillars. And I can't watch, I literally cannot wait to watch them grow into butterflies. I look forward to seeing you next time, my friends. I love you so much. If you get a chance at home, could you do me a favor and draw a caterpillar? Could you draw one for me? And then I want you to tell your mommy or daddy, what do you think will happen after that caterpillar gets so big? What's gonna happen to the caterpillar when it gets fat, when it gets really big and all of its food's gone? What's it gonna have to do? How are we gonna get this, but these caterpillars into the canopy, how are they gonna change into butterflies? I don't know. You wanna find out with me? I'm really excited to find out with you. My friends, I love you so much. I can't wait to tell me, for, um, for y'all to tell me what maybe we could call them. Can you think of some names too? You can draw a picture of the caterpillars, make some predictions, and maybe come up with a couple names for them. I would love to hear what names you picked out. You can put them in the comments below or you can have your mommy and daddy message me. I would love that. My friends, I love you so much. Thank you for coming to Mrs. Palmer's Pre-K Virtual Classroom. I love you. Bye, my friends.